Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, are you guys ready for an exciting video? Today, we are going to make this beautiful yarn bookmark for all of my readers. This is going to be very easy and very simple. So, stay with me. So, first of all, we need yarn. You can choose any color you want. I am taking yellow one here. And a crochet hook. I'm going to zoom in to show you the specific values. You can buy it from any mud. First of all, we'll make a slip knot. Wrap the yarn around your fingers and take it out. Just like this. We have our slip knot here. Now, we will put the slip knot to the crochet hook and tighten it. Just like this. And now we are going to chain 33 stitches with the yarn. And this makes a bookmark that measures approximately seven and a half inches by one inch wide if you would like to make a shorter or longer bookmark you are going to chain a multiple of two and add five chains afterward right now i'm making here chain stitches i'm going to make total 33 of them we don't have to do much you just pull over the yarn over the crochet hook and take it out just like this you if you find it hard you can slow the video and watch it again and again i'm just repeating the same steps as you can see clearly after completing this 30, 33 stitches we'll start making our bookmark i'll see you when it's done when i'm done with my 33 chain stitches So you can see here clearly these are my 33 chain stitches. Right now we are going to yarn over and insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. I am yarning over right now and this is the second hook. And we are going to put our crochet hook into the second chain. We are going to yarn over and pull up a loop. We should have three loops on our hook by now. As you can see, we have three loops right now. We have to make total six loops. I'm going to repeat the same step. This is my fourth one. I have four loops on my hook now. Here we go. We have five. This is my sixth loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we are going to pull all six loops in one chain one. Just like this. To start our next stitch, we are going to insert our hook into the chain one space of the last stitch. This is called I. Let me show you. This is called I. We are going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Then we are going to insert our hook into the last stitch. You can see clearly. Now we have three loops on our crochet hook. One, two, three. I'm going to repeat the same step for you. Here you go. Now we have three loops over our hook. We have to make them six as I told you earlier. This is my fourth one. This is my fifth one. Just take the hook and put it to the chain stitch. Now we have six stitches on our hook. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now we will pull up all of this 6 stitches through chain 2. That's it. Now I am going to repeat the same step till my last chain stitch. I have to repeat the same step. So I will see you at the end when I am done all of my these stitches. 
you can watch the video and repeat this same after me this is my third one this is my fourth loop this is my fifth one and this is my sixth one now i'm going to pull up all of these six stitches through chain three that's it <clears throat> that's something you have to do it's very easy and simple <clears throat> you can make it in different colors and use it as book readers i personally loved it i have th two or three of these whenever i read a book i use it different one for every different book and yes if you have not subscribed and like my channel kindly go and subscribe my channel for the latest videos and updates and if you find this video helpful at all just do like my video and support me here you go you can see i'm just repeating the same step good job if you need any help or you are confused about something you can comment and ask me i'm always available to help you guys there you go this is going to take some time to knit i think it will maximum take half an hour for you if even if you are a learner or beginner to make a bookmark for your own self Here you you go you can see we are making progress so i am done with all of my stitches and i am almost at the end so this is my third loop this is my third loop finally i am showing showing you my last stitch so you can make a very nice and fine bookmark for your own self and don't get get confused i'm going to pull all of these stitches through the last chain just like this here you go that's it now i'm going to zoom in clearly for you put your crochet uh, crochet hook to the chain last chain and then start knitting backwards i'm repeating the same step again you can see here you go now we have to start knitting backward put it through this hole there you go now we will knit it till the end i am showing you all of the holes where you have to chains where you have to put it If you find it hard you can pause the video and repeat the same step again and again or even you can watch the video in slow motion
just loop it around the yarn hook and put it through the chain. The next chain stitch you see. Keep repeating the same steps. And so soon we'll be done with this. Very good. You're doing very good work. Here you go. Pull over and put it through the chain stitch. I hope it's fun for you as well as it is for me. We're almost done. So we are almost done with our row two. This is our row 2 that I am making right now. You can increase the number of rows if you want. You can increase the width of it. You can increase the length as much as you like. I guess it depends on the size of your book. The one I am making is 7.5 inches long and 1 inch wide. So I'm almost at the end. Okay, here we go. This is our here we bookmark. Go. We have our bookmark. Now to fasten off, we are going to slide into the first stitch of our first row. Just like this and make a slip knot. I'm just like this. Let's repeat, slide into the side of the first stitch of row 1 and fasten off, okay? Now we're going to cut it. I have trimmed the tail and just tighten the bookmark. This will look our bookmark, this will make our bookmark look clear and clean. So guys, it is time to weave in the ends and make tassels for our beautiful bookmark. Now I'm going to weave in the ends for that. Take our crochet hook and make a few stitches at the back of the our bookmark so that they are not visible in the front side. Take the yarn out of any stitch just like this I, I'm doing and make a knot. Here you go. I'm just trying to make sure our bookmark doesn't open later. Just pull a stitch through the back of the bookmark and pull the yarn out of it just like this this will secure the ends take it down take it down yes and pull the yarn out of it so we're done weaving weaving in our ends and cut the yarn extra yarn with a pair of scissors so here you go now let's make tassels to make tassels let's just loop the yarn around your fingers a good quantity of yarn and then cut it with a pair of scissors here you go make a knot in the center 
I'm just looping it around. So, pass it through the center. And we're almost done. Here you go. Loop it around the edge so many times so it's tighten. To give it a good support. Keep looping it around. And make a knot at the end. This is our tussle and I'm just doing it once more. Now, tighten it, take the crochet hook, pass it through the surface above the looping area and pull the yarn out of it. Here you go. And make a knot. Now this is tightened and it won't loosen up later. Cut it with the scissor to make a tussle and just balance and equalize all of the layers of the yarn. Here you go, we have our tussle. Now we just have to connect it with the bookmark. Pull the yarn through the stitch and Pass the yarn of the tussel through it and make a knot. Here you go. I'm making two knots. You can make two or three so that it, it won't loosen up later. Cut the extra yarn with a pair of scissors. Here you go. We have our bookmark with a tussel. Now, we just need to press it so that it gets into the shape. We have a cloth here and an iron. Put it over the cloth. Now we just have to press it with our iron to give it a proper shape. Make sure the iron is not very hot or cool. It should have to be at a certain temperature. Here you, here you go. We are done with our bookmark. Now I will show you how I use this. Just open a book where you are reading the chapter you are on. And put it into the book. Here you go. I find these bookmarks very helpful. One, two or three or four person can read the same book at one time. I'm going to show you. See how cute it looks. Take care of yourself. I hope you like the video. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.